Good morning, you motherfucking sunshines. Back on trail, man. Shit. He out. Hell yeah. Uh, heading north on the 18, man. That's the way I like it. Um, we're gonna do a quick overnighter, maybe two nights on the 18 with Roscoe P. Waggletails. Uh, we're both out of shape. We're both fat as fuck. Eating Nutella like I never left the fucking trail. But that's all right. We'll get back in shape eventually. A uh, couple nights on the AT will do us both good. So we're going to try to, uh, I, I got late started. I, was, I slept the fuck in like I was doing my day offs. But we're going to try to make it to Low Gap Shelter. It's like 11 and a half from Mountain Crossings. Um, camp there and then we'll start heading back. Maybe camp at uh, Wolf Laurel Top on the way back. We're kind of winging it. Uh, Roscoe might want to fucking take a nap for by the time we get to Whitley Gap Shelter at like six and a half. So who the fuck knows? We'll get there when we get there. Um, we'll show up where we show up and kind of play it by ear, man. Either who, it's a great October day, not too hot. Wait for those fall colors to pop, man. But let's get down the trail. It's gonna be a great fucking day. Fuck you, hike this whole trail, man. It's hard. Uh, Wolf we'll Little Top, man. Uh, huh. I love this fucking view. I've camped up here multiple times since I moved down here. So, I think what we'll do is, Roscoe's starting to get wore out. I don't think he's gonna be able to make it to 11 and a half to uh, Low Gap. So, we'll just shoot for Whitley. Nobody camps at Whitley because it's a mile off the AT. So, you know, we'll get a little privacy tonight. I've never seen that shelter, so obviously I bypassed that on my through hike. So, We'll do Whitley Gap tonight, camp there, and uh, maybe come back here Wolf Willow Top tomorrow night and camp before we head on home, man. Let's get some water and some food up in this month. <laughs> Tea gap. I think I call this testicle gap on my through hike. Either who. Got a, I got half a mile, three quarters of a mile climb to get us to the junction, take us to Whitley Gap Shelter, man. We'll see you fuckers there.
Good job. Fucking beast mode, Roscoe. I couldn't keep up with his ass. Oh, where'd they get shelter? That was a nice little hike. Eight-ish miles. Well, 6.7 to the junction, then a mile, mile and a half, or 1.2, I think, to the shelter itself. So we'll have a little climb out here tomorrow to get back to the AT, but whatever. We're just out enjoying ourselves. I'm pretty damn sure we'll have this shelter to ourselves. I'll have the shitter to myself in the morning. We'll do a little privy review for old times' sake. But right now, huh, I'm going to set up my shit, go grab some water, and we'll think about getting some dinner going, man. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you sleep last night, boy? Huh? How'd you sleep last night, boy? Oh, fuck balls. Where's the bacon and eggs at, bitch? You're supposed to make bacon and eggs, mine. What a beautiful morning on the Appalachian Trail. Well, we're technically not on the AT. 1.2 off the trail. Oh, it is a beautiful morning. Oh, slept like a baby last night. Oh, no shit critters tried to get in my tent last night. And I woke up bone dry, which is the uh, most important thing. To wake up dry on the AT is a Christmas goddamn miracle, man. Um, got down to shit. It was actually warm last night. You know, the last couple weeks up here in North Georgia, it's been getting, it's feeling like fall in the morning. It has been anyway, low 40s at night, maybe even upper 30s a couple nights. It's been great in the mornings. I love that cool, crisp air. But last night, I did not get that chilly. And in fact, I slept in my new uh, 20 degree Enigma last night, and I had to peel that son of a bitch back. I couldn't even sleep in it last night. It was too warm. Roscoe got to sleep on my old uh, EE quilt. Tell me one fucking dog that gets to sleep on a $370 quilt. <laughs> you lucky bastard. Yeah, I'm talking to you, man. <laughs> uh, he did awesome yesterday, man. It was hard to keep up with him a couple times, and we both lost our fucking breath on a couple of those climbs. Just took some breaks and shit, but yeah, it impresses me every fucking time I see this little guy hike. He's he's a fucking billy goat, for sure. Eight miles was enough yesterday. I am not used to hiking any sort of distance, especially not on these kind of, this kind of terrain. So my legs definitely felt it this morning, but, you know, it's just one of those things. At least starting now next year on the CDT, it'll be all flat through New Mexico, so... I'll get my legs toned eventually by the time I hit Colorado, I reckon. But, holy shit, got a new puffy, as, as you can maybe tell or not, I don't know. Outdoor research, uh, last couple of years I've used the, the Patagucci uh, down jackets. And then uh, I saw Outdoor Research release this one a couple weeks ago. This is the Outdoor Research Helium Down Jacket, I think it's called. I think it's pretty fucking baller. Uh, it's an 800 fill jacket, got a hood on it, and it's got this abrasion resistant material on the shoulders as well as the hood. I guess the whole idea behind that is if you are wearing this thing with a pack on, it's a little more abrasion resistant for your shoulder straps as well as, you know, if you're wearing it in like snow and shit like that, um, all the snow is supposedly hitting your shoulders and stuff and it won't, you know, get you down saturated, I guess is the idea. But either way, it's warm as shit. Got a chest pocket on it. It's got two big ass pockets inside. Um, in fact, it's too fucking hot. <laughs> I got to take it off. But I think what we'll do is... Um, <sighs> shit once we get packed up here i've only got three miles back to wolf laurel top where i showed you yesterday i think me and roscoe are gonna camp there tonight 
probably won't bring y'all along to that because you've already seen that shit. Everything I'm going to be hiking back. Um, south uh, to mountain crossings, you already saw yesterday, so there's no point in repeating that. But I'll let you guys see me take a shit <laughs> this morning because I know you love seeing that. Uh, we'll write that privy, get some breakfast in us, and we'll mosey our ass down the fucking trail, man. It's going to be a great fucking day. <laughs> privy man um shit it's been a while since i've been in one of these <laughs> things i might be a little rusty but we're gonna try to rate this thing the best we can so off the bat this fucking door i guess this is your idea of privacy there is a latch on that thing but it doesn't latch to anything so you can't actually close it where it should be closed it just swings kind of in front of your face so it's blocking the view there could be some amazing graffiti right there that you could read while you're shitting but because this door is blocking it there's no way of reading that graffiti if there was some on that wall not much for as far as graffiti except for this right here, which I'm not even going to bother reading. It's stupid. Um, so you do have nice ventilation here. As you can see, all around, beautiful views of the trees to your left. Not much for views there, but there is some nice ventilation so I don't have to smell my own shit. Now, the, the prairies up in Maine do have the bags of cedar in there, which right gets them way up on the scale just because the smell is quite lovely now there is a, a a bucket of cedar chips in here but it's very low and because the lid's on you can't really smell anything so uh you don't get any points for that but aside from that it's 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 lovely i'm digging more so the view of this trees right here okay that's that's the big one for me wish it smelled a little bit more like cedar in here but because of the ventilation you don't have to smell shit which is lovely the door gets a point off because i don't I can't, this thing is just annoying the shit out of me. Aside from that, it's quite lovely in here. I'm gonna give it a 6.75, man. All right, mofos, all packed up. Had a beautiful shit this morning. Me and Roscoe, we're gonna hike our happy asses back in our three miles, camp at Wolf Laurel Top, but we're gonna leave y'all here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Got some nice sandy back this last night in my tent. I need this shit. Good for the heart, good for the soul. <sighs> Enough of that hippie bullshit. <laughs> this is your boy, IB Tat. We'll holler at you fuckers next time. Oh,